Hey guys, it's Tommy here, and the Yuba Poor is a little sick today, so I'll be doing this commentary for him. He's a little under the weather, and so yeah, I think he's playing some Minecraft. I heard of this game before in 9, and he had a like, compass in his hand, I think, or I don't know what it is in his hand, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll do some commentary over Tommy, it. Tommy, what are you doing? I'm making the commentary for you. Fine. I'm, I'm sorry about that, guys. Uh, that was my little brother, Tommy. Uh, he does things like that every once in a while. So I'm sorry about that. I don't even know how he really worked my computer, I guess. But I'm sorry, n nonetheless. But what I'm doing here is some Minecraft Hunger Games with my friend. And we do pretty, pretty good, I guess. Uh, the best I've ever done. And this guy is a pro at making swords. He makes swords so fast. Uh, he actually timed himself and got like 20 seconds. And that is just crazy. Like 30 seconds for a stone sword. And we ended up doing pretty good in this match. But since I didn't record voices, I'll probably just narrate over some of the parts and tell you guys what I'm doing. Because I think there are some pretty interesting parts in here. So yeah, I'll meet you in my next narration. Okay guys, I think I'll just do a straight commentary pretty much right through this because I think it would be a lot more entertaining than just watching the game because I didn't record game sound either so it would be pretty boring. And I'm not really sure what I'm doing here, just sitting here. Uh, oh, oh yeah, I think I'm dressed up as a chicken because I'm using the chameleon uh, kit. And that guy must have knew I was a chameleon or something or whatever because he was trying to hit me and you guys probably don't know this but some of you might but some of you won't so I'll let you know anyways but the chameleon kit allows you to like disguise yourself as an animal so say I hit a chicken I'll look just like a chicken and I'm not sure what I look like right now a chicken a cow a pig or something like that and I see I'm just following my friend around here because he's a pro at this game and I am definitely not and I'm not really sure what we're doing or just standing on top of some trees uh, I think we're gonna do some tree parkour after this Yes, we are just doing some tree parkour like no one's business. And also, guys, in Minecraft, I use the soap skin from MW2. Uh, I think it looks pretty nice, I guess, because I think all these guys with like rainbow skins, I mean, why would you want that? And as you can see, these wood swords of ours just annihilate everyone. And look at all that stuff I already got. I already got a pickaxe, like a spade, I believe that is. Uh, I'm not even sure what that other thing is way on the right where like my number eight key or whatever would choose but I just get a ton of things right at the beginning of the game which really helps and I end up getting an iron sword I believe and yeah I think I don't know my friend just ender pearled the ender pearl there or no not ender pearled what's that called I totally forgot I, I know some of you minecraft pros are gonna be getting mad at me for this but yeah so he just put that portal down there and yeah I really don't know what I'm doing here, guys. I've said that three times now, so I should stop saying that. But I think we just goof around for a bit. We try to hide because we just saw a guy, and I have a ton of stuff I want to give him. And there's that guy looking at us over there. You probably can't see him because I didn't see him. I just trusted my friend and what he said. So we go off and find the woods and, you know, find, find a little hidey hole so I can give him some supplies. And, yeah, I think it works out really well. I... I don't, I'm not really sure, but this game I just did amazing because I didn't, or today I got my first Minecraft Hunger Games kill ever because these swords are so like OP. I never knew how much like the difference would be from a sword to a pickaxe because I always used the miner kit and just used a pickaxe, which, geez, that does not work well compared to the sword. And you know, I said I'd get an iron sword later. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Some about an iron sword, but who really cares? And I'm letting my friend get this guy because I don't want to hit him on accident. But he actually left the game. He's pretty smart. So we're waiting for him to come on back. And he comes back like three or four times. I don't know. He's just trying to be pretty sneaky, which he was. And I don't really have a clue what to do here, so I'm just following my friend around. That's what I'm doing most of the game. Because I'm still not good at Minecraft Hunger Games. Uh, I can't really play by myself. I actually did make my first sword by myself the other day, which I was pretty happy of. It took me like five minutes though, maybe. Because, well, I didn't really... I actually had to stop in the middle of the Hunger Games, go to Google Chrome and research how to make a sword and stuff. And it was pretty uh, time-consuming, but I got it in the end. And I, maybe five seconds after I got it out of my crafting table, I died. So, 
that don't work out too well. I will have to uh, right there, guys. I didn't. I or I accidentally hit him. I didn't mean to because I changed my controls because I'm on my laptop. So when I hit the trackpad, uh, uh, that's like the hit button, and I was just scratching my ear right there. So when I went to put my hand back on my trackpad, I accidentally hit him. But it's fine. I think he regained his health. It's no big deal. It doesn't matter in the end, anyways. And as you can see, there's 66 players remaining, and there's 150 to start. So the game's going down pretty quick, and I don't think we kill that many people, or I, I guess we do, but a lot of the game we just hide and let the other people kill them, I guess, or we don't we don't exactly hide since we're out in the open, we just play smart, and I don't think I'm dressed up as a sheep or anything anymore, because uh, I, I had a fight with that guy back there, Um, but yeah, the best animal to like be disguised as is probably... The chicken, because, I mean, the chicken really isn't good for anything. No one really cares about the chicken. You never want to dis or disguise yourself as a cow or a sheep. Because some people may want you, uh, or some people want a sheep. And chickens are pointless. I mean, I think there's one time in this game where a guy just walks past me a few times and I have, like, one heart and I'm a chicken. Uh, all you gotta do is play stupid and look in a corner and it works every time. And this commentary is like 19 minutes long or something, so I just may have to stop it early and put some sweet music on. Uh, but the problem with that is I don't want to get copyright issues, so I'm not sure. We'll just figure it out as we go. And right here I'm learning how to make some meat. Or like raw pork chops or whatever, I gotta make a cooked pork chop and so on. But just look at all that stuff I have in my inventory already. I have an extra, uh, whatever, sword, I have an extra spade, I have an extra pickaxe. One second, guys. <coughs> uh. And if you look on the bottom, you'll see I have two stone swords. And you may be wondering why I did that. That is because if someone has the kit monk, uh, that means once they hit you or once they hit, or yeah, I believe it's once they hit you or attack you, uh, the weapon you're holding or whatever you're holding uh, goes into your inventory. So you're pretty much defenseless. So that's why I have two swords down there. So in case a monk hits me, I have my other sword as backup I can just hit him with. I think that was pretty smart. And at the end of the game, uh, I do kind of fail, because it's kind of hard sprinting on a laptop in Minecraft. Uh, so I'm thinking about getting an external mouse so I can hit guys better, because it's actually pretty hard for me to kill guys. If I had an external mouse, I could right and left click. But right now, I have to hit my trackpad to record, I mean not record, I have to hit my trackpad to hit a guy, and I need to hit command to like use I guess or like use weapons and stuff or not use weapons uh, like open chests and so on so it's pretty hard uh, so that's why I want to get an external mouse if any of you guys know any good mouses uh, suggest me one in the description because I read all my comments guys and I mean that all my comments when I wake up and see I don't have any comments on my videos I am just sad and school is starting for me guys so I may not upload as much as I do and check this part out I leg out right here and I'm stuck in this hole with this guy and I know I'm lagging because like that Skype call stopped working and everything so I'm thinking when I come back to life or when it stops lagging I'm gonna be dead but what do you know anytime now I think he's a demo man or just keeps digging and we all fall down and I just spam my sword I just spam my sword so hard cuz I only had like four hearts left I'm not sure what he was dressed up as a I think he might have been dressed up as slender man actually and then I don't, or I can't really get out of here. I don't have enough blocks, so he just, uh, what, what's that called? Not Ender Pearl. Uh, I could research it right now, but I'm, I'm good. I, I really don't know what to call it. It's a kit though, where you can like portal people up to you, and it's a pretty good kit. I don't want to pay for kits though. <coughs> no matter how good they would be, because twice today I uh, died because of a guy with the Thor kit which means like you can control lightning and one lightning like, strike and you're pretty much dead or not not, not dead you're like halfway dead and as you can see right there I didn't have any armor guys and I actually never get armor this whole game which is a big like mistake I guess if I would have got armor I think I definitely could have survived longer and as you can see I'm just skipping forward through these parts uh, because I don't really need to show you guys or we're just pretty much sitting around and this guy messaging right now uh... Cumbie, uh... my friend was telling me that he's this like or he was on this famous guy's video and he just owned everyone so i sent him a message saying that he owned everyone and i don't get a reply but my friend does and uh... yeah 
I think I tried to team, or yeah, I do, I do try to team up with another guy. I think it's down to like six or seven guys right now, so I try to team up with another guy. But it doesn't work out because he ends up leaving the game. I don't think he died or anything. I believe he lagged out or something, which kind of sucks. But as you can see, I'm kind of a noob, so I think uh, Cumbie is under the ground right now, which he is not. I'm sorry, guys. I had to go eat, but I'm back now. And like I was saying, Cumbie is not under the ground. Uh, I was just a noob with the compass and thought he was under the ground because that's where I was pointing. And I asked Cumbie if he wanted a team, but he says he's on a team, but his team ends up dying, I actually think. I don't really know how or nothing, because they're just a giant massacre at the end. And there, oh, never mind, there's a lot more than six players remaining. My bad, there is like 16. And if you can hear an echo right now, I'm sorry about that. I will try my hardest to fix that. Or not exactly an echo, but I hope it doesn't sound like I'm in a giant open room. Uh, I think it may, though, but I'll try to fix that my best as I can. And... Uh, like I was saying, you know, or whatever, but what, huh? What am I saying? Polar, get your words straight. Okay, well, I was going to see you guys and do this commentary all in one run. Ugh, but I'm not really doing that anymore. So I just had some Ritz crackers because I am hungry, and Ritz crackers are the bomb. I mean, who doesn't like Ritz crackers? And then uh, I was telling Kambi that uh, I hope it gets down to us three, which actually it does. And I'm not going to spoil who wins and stuff, you just need to watch it to the end, because the ending, it's intense, I'll, I'll say that right now, it's pretty darn intense, and you guys might have saw like, Exalted Penguin talking in the chat, and if you have, I think he was on the team with Cumbie, that's what I put together this whole game when I rewatched the video, and yeah, now it's down to seven players, and Cumbie just said there's a team of four, <coughs> oh jeez. I'm sorry, and this is probably the part that I had to rethink, because he said there's a team of four, and there's seven guys left, so that means me and my friend, Cumbie, and then a team of four, and I guess, but he, he said he was on a team, right? So I don't know if he's lying to us, or this guy is Shadow, so he said he's looking for a new teammate. I think he might have been baiting us, so that's my friend I was thinking, which makes sense because with seven people, all the like the numbers didn't add up. So I think he was just baiting us, and luckily he ends up leaving the game, uh, so I don't fall for his trap. Or I'm not even sure if it was a trap; it just I think it was. And about this whole Hunger Games thing, I'm gonna try to do these a lot more because I want I really want to win one soon. That'd just be awesome. I was really hoping I was gonna win this one. Oh crap! I just spoiled the ending. Well, guys, you, you should watch it anyways. Uh, it's just probably my best game so far in the Hunger Games. Well, never mind. It is my best, no doubt. Don't know why I said it might be. It definitely is my best. Uh, my best before this, I just dug a giant hole. And when I say giant, I mean I swear I was going to fall into like the middle of the world. Uh, and I hid there for the whole time until there were like 22 players left. Then I ended up falling for the trick where people say, you know, type in slash kill stats or type in slash kill something, you know, uh, to do this or something. And I fell for it because I was really new back then. So I was pretty mad, but I think I got redemption with this game because I was actually happy with this game. And right now I'm being pretty hesitant asking how we should meet instead of giving them my coordinates because uh, I don't want them to ambush us. And I tell him we're going to meet him in the forest, actually, which we never do, because, like I said, twice already, he ends up leaving. And, uh, yeah, I think we have a garden over there. It's like some oaklings, or oaklings, what? Saplings, or oak trees, or something like that. And then he just sets some lava down. And look at my guy, or my skin right there. You can see it looks pretty sweet, I think, the ghost skin, or not, not ghost, excuse me, soap. And just look at all those swords and stuff I have. Jeez, I have, like, four stone swords. Uh, I have one iron sword, which I really don't get to use, because I didn't know how strong it was. Uh, if I would have knew how strong it was, I definitely would have used it instead of running away at the end. Jeez, I'm, gi I'm giving away the end before it's here, guys. I am sorry. Uh, but this is a super, super long commentary. It's probably going to take two to three hours to upload. Uh, even though my internet speed just or got like boosted, I guess you can say, the other day. From one down or from a one upload speed to a two upload speed. I wish it was maybe like a four or five that would just be the best but guys my ping is super super good and you guys may not know what ping is so i'll explain it to you uh okay say you're playing call of duty from the time you hit the jump button for like the xbox to receive the action i guess uh you know they get from a 
Jeez, the time it takes from like the controller to send the information to the Xbox is called ping, and a good ping is around 25, 30 milliseconds. And there's been times where mine is like a 10 or 9 milliseconds. And <coughs> oh gosh, you can get a zero ping if you use an Ethernet cable, but uh, where my router is, it doesn't really work out too well. So I'm using it off of Wi-Fi, which is just amazing. And check out how those uh, the Oakwood planks are shaped. <laughs> LOL. Laugh out loud for some of you texting noobs out there. And yeah, as you can see, Shadow just said uh, they're in the forest, or he's in the forest. So I said, we'll try to meet you because I don't want him to ambush us or anything. I want a spot we can run back to. I really don't know why leaves are... I just don't know why leaves or where everyone goes. I'm not sure how many people there are right now. Maybe five or six or something like that. And yeah. One second, guys. Okay, guys. There, I'm back. And uh, I really should be. I really should disguise myself as a chicken right now. And as you can see, the feast was just announced. So we go there. And well, it doesn't go our way. So here we are, uh, we're going to the feast, and I believe it's down to us three. Or let's see, yep, it's down to us three, me, my friend, and Cumby. And I'm asking Cumby if he has armor, because I don't. And I'm pretty sure he does have armor. <laughs> and I'm just joking, saying that we're coming for him. And I believe he actually is scared of us, even though we don't have armor. But how would he I know we don't have play armor? Minecraft more, because this is a really fun game. Uh, I know some of you guys just may be hesitant on paying the $26 or whatever it is to buy it. But it's it's worth it, guys. I'll tell you that right now. I mean, I had so much fun today just playing Hunger Games. I probably played 5 to 10 games. And we just go on rampages at the beginning because, like I said, my friend can make swords in like 20, 30 seconds flat. So we make some before invincibility is up and just camp out a bit. And we get a whole group of guys. And it's just really fun. And by the way, guys, while I'm recording, I get 30 to 40 frames per second, which I think is pretty good. Uh, I wish I could have got more because there was one time where I had all my settings on max and I was also recording. I was getting 60 FPS. I really don't know how if my processor was overclocked or something. I just really don't know. But right now, right here, guys, I'm asking him if he wants to do a Mexican standoff, which I think is pretty funny, or at least I thought it was pretty funny. But he says, let's just fight like men, which makes no sense because just coming up now uh, we're actually going to the feast and as you can see my friend just saw him and he's alerted me and I don't know where he went which so I just decided to run away as fast as I can and they're right past our chest and he was saying like if Cumbie's not behind you anymore uh, you know try to build a fort that you can go up into and so I just sprint for a long long time and I don't see him behind me so I attempt to build a fort anytime now anytime yeah, so he's not, or, come on, I sure run a long way, so he's not behind me anymore, and this for, first fork I attempt to build is pretty much a fail, anytime now, and look, <laughs> I tried to build it under a tree, which I thought was pretty funny, but I end up building it over here, actually, and I know I could have been a lot, lot better. Uh, I'm just kind of a noob at building forks, this is my first time ever, and I built it super high for a reason. And this is probably the hardest part in building a fort, like getting the blocks to go on these edges. And I wanted to get uh, one more block around every edge, but as you'll see, I fail. I fall off, and I don't want to build another one. Uh, I lost three of my hearts, and I just don't want to build another one. So I was thinking, I'll try to meet up with my friend again, you know, we can go to the feast, hopefully. So I try to find my way back, you know, which is pretty darn hard because I lost my most of my sense of direction. As you can see, I'm just wandering my way back, and I recognize that tree I just passed, that really tall one. And there he is right there, and I think, oh no, I gotta run. And he actually gave my friend some armor, which makes no sense, and he just gave me that little boost, and I know one more hit, and I'm dead. And I got caught up on that tree, and I'm just sitting here stunned. I was, like, raging in Skype. And I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary, or whatever you want to call it. But if you did, uh, leave a like, rating, or comment. Okay, guys, peace.